Hello, and welcome to another episode of Blue's Tech How To's. Today, we're going to be covering something a little bit more specific. But have you ever wondered when you jump into a Twitch chat, how it already recognizes that you're in the chat? Or once you send that first message, you get welcomed into the stream? I'm going to show you how to do that today uh, using Streamer Bot and Mix It Up Bot. Um, so both are a little different and function a little differently. So you can choose which one works best for you. Um, but this video is requested by Gormanator from the Education Station. We're a team over on Twitch dedicated to lifelong learning using our skills and tools to help you grow not only as a streamer, but as a person. So make sure you click on that link below to check out the Education Station stream team. Make sure you're checking out Gormanator as well to show you the tool belt, the tools, things that you can use to help grow not only as a person, but as a streamer. So let's jump right on into it. Let's figure out how to set up those messages. So here we have both programs opened up here. We've got StreamerBot on the left and Mix It Up on the right. So depending on what you're looking for in regards to a welcome message will determine on which application you choose. If you're looking for a message to be sent when a user sends their first chat of the stream, then you're going to want to go with streamer bot. If you're looking for a bot to welcome someone to your channel, as soon as they connect to chat before they even say anything, then go with mix it up. So I'll show you how to set up both, uh, but just make sure you choose the program that fits what you're looking for. So in StreamerBot, we're just gonna open this up here. Make sure to check out our previous video about getting StreamerBot set up and ready to go. But if you haven't seen that video before, quick little rundown, make sure you come up to the top and you connect your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS to StreamerBot. So you're just gonna wanna right click and hit add. It will open up this box here. If you're using OBS Studio, make sure you download WebSockets, the plugin that allows applications such as StreamerBot to connect to it. Once you get that connected, you're gonna come back up here to the top and go to settings. Under settings, you wanna find Twitch accounts. Once you're here, connect your broadcaster account. And if you wanna use a bot for messages, make sure you connect a bot account as well. The nice thing about these programs is sending messages through your broadcaster account actually allow you to use your emotes. So any emotes that you have on your account, you can use. So yours or anybody else that you're subscribed to at that time. Once those are both connected, now you can create your actions. So under the settings tab, if you come over here to events, these are all the events that can trigger an action from StreamerBot. The one we're looking for is first words. Under first words here, I've already got it connected to the one I use for my streams, but we're gonna go create a new one for you. So you're going to want to come here to the upper left to the actions tab under the actions tab this is kind of your home base where you can create anything to run within StreamerBot. Um, so you're just going to want to right click and click add and you're going to want to call this we'll just call this first words after the setting you can add it to a group if you'd like um, and then a queue as well if you've got one of those set up click ok and you're going to see it appear on the left under the actions and then on the right, you're gonna see the sub actions. Now, currently there is nothing there. So nothing will run when the first words action is performed. So we can do, we can change that. So we're gonna right click and hit add action. And you're gonna see everything that StreamerBot can do uh, in regards to actions. So you can really flush this out with whatever you're looking for. Um, in this video, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple. So you're gonna come down to Twitch and we're gonna send a message to the channel. So once you click that, just make sure you choose the broadcaster account and we're gonna type a message uh, that will get displayed. So this is what will show up when someone types their first chat message of a stream. So we can go, thank you for being here, dollar sign user, as that's the variable to specify which user uh, has sent the message. So now you've got your message. So thank you for being here. Welcome to the stream. So hit OK. And now your sub action is created. So again, your first word will play this message. In order to link this up, you want to come back over to the settings tab. 
under the settings, we want to come to the first words and we're going to assign that action. So again, we're going to change it off of the one that I had already created and we're going to put in first words and then hit select. And you can see that this is updated here now. The auto reset cache just means how many hours before it wipes it clean so that it welcomes everybody again. You want to set this based on how long you stream for and how many times you stream for. So if you're streaming for, you know, 8, 12, 16 hours, if you do long streams, make sure you bump that up so that people aren't getting re-welcomed over the course of your stream, unless you want it to. That said, there is a manual reset button as well. So we're going to manually reset it and then we're going to pull up our Twitch chat. So if we come over here and we grab our chat box, you can see here that there's nothing in the chat. So what we're going to do is we're going to just say hello. And because we have reset the cache, the stream doesn't think I've been there before. And on our first words, voila. So you can see it says, thank you for being here, Belugaman39. Welcome to the stream. Again, I mentioned as a broadcaster account, you can actually add your emotes. So we'll move this guy back off the screen and we're gonna come over here to our actions tab one more time. So under our first words action, we're gonna double click or right click and edit on our sub action. And we're going to add in just a couple emotes just to show you. So we're gonna go add in the words for our emote, for our hello and our love. And we're gonna hit okay. And then one more time, we're going to come back up to settings and we're going to reset that cache. So now that we've reset it, once again, StreamerBot doesn't know that we've been in the stream yet. So if we say hello again, one more time, you can see it has put in the first words chat message. So that's how you set it up within StreamerBot. Again, you can add more than this. You just add more things to the sub action. So we'll move this guy off here. We'll come over to the actions. You can add as many things as you like to this sub action. So right click, add, and you can add whatever you'd like. Sounds, any, uh, any kind of sources, turning off any filters or anything like that within your streaming software. All of that can be done within StreamerBot. But that's just basic getting a chat message into your stream. So now in regards to mix it up, when you come to mix it up, this is gonna be the first scene that you see very similar to StreamerBot, make sure that your OBS and your uh, Twitch account are connected. Um, so again, over on the left-hand side here, you're gonna wanna come down to services. Under services, you're going to see OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. It even has XSplit functionality as well, if that's the, the software that you use. Um, but make sure those are connected. You can tell they're connected when they've got a check mark beside them. So go through, get that connected. And then you're going to want to come down to accounts. Under accounts, you have your choice of you, Twitch, YouTube, Trovo, and Glamesh. Connect the account of your choice. Again, you do have the streamer account and a bot account. So just again, make sure you log whatever accounts necessary uh, in via this page. Once that's all done, come back up to here and you're going to want to look for events. Under the events tab, you're going to see an array of different options. Um, so you, similar to StreamerBot, you can actually run events based off of Twitch events, such as hosts, follows, um, subscriptions, uh, all that kind of stuff. But in this, we're actually going to look for chat. So under the chat one, we're looking for the chat new user joined and chat user joined. These two, the only difference is whether they're a first time chatter or if they've been to your stream before. So first time chatters will trigger chat new user if they've been to your stream previously, but it's just their first time um, for that day, then you will get chat user joined. So we're going to build out a chat user. So come over to the right hand side and you're going to click add a command. That will open up this window here. And from this action menu down here, you can choose whatever you'd like to add to this trigger. Again, we're going to keep it simple and just do a chat message, but you can scroll through this list and anything that you see here, you can actually add to this trigger as well. So click on chat message and then hit the plus. Once you've hit the plus, you're going to see this box show up. You want to click send to streamer because again, that'll send it through your account, enabling you to use those emotes if you wish. So in the chat message again, we're going to go welcome to the party. Thank you so much for joining. And then this is where it comes down to the difference between bots as to what uh, variables you use. So again, we used a percentage symbol on either side of the variable within streamer bot. In mix it up here, it's actually the dollar sign just in front. 
you're gonna see we do dollar sign username. We'll put an exclamation point at the end. So now what you would do is you hit the save button and then voila, you're all set. You're gonna see that it changed here as well. So you get a test command button an edit, a trash, and you can actually turn it on and off. This one is a little trickier to test that it works because in general, when you're testing things, you're already connected to your chat. So if you log out of everything and log back in, you can get this to trigger. Um, that being said, uh, the other way is just run that test command. So if we hit this button here, the test command, you're gonna choose your streaming platform. Just make sure that it is set correctly. Hit okay. And then you pull this over and look at whether or not it worked. The main thing you're looking for in this uh, section is that your variable worked. So in this case here, you see that it did work there. So welcome to the party. Thank you so much for joining Beluga Man. Again, you can tailor the words, um, customize it, make it your own, add in your emotes if you'd like. Um, but again, this message will show up when someone connects to your chat. So this will, this will appear before they speak. Um, whereas again, in comparison to StreamerBot, StreamerBot is once they say their first words. So make sure you choose the program for what you're looking for. Um, this uh, app does have more options as well. So chat user left, you can add stuff in for message received, whisper received, message deleted, um, timeout and bans. You can really start to play around with it and add in commands and events for whatever you're looking for. Uh, so have some fun with it. Make sure that you um, you explore the programs, both StreamerBot and Mix It Up. Uh, they have a lot more functionality to them than just these, you know, welcome messages. Uh, so I highly recommend that you look into them. We definitely will be doing lots of videos on both. Uh, we have started jumping into a lot of StreamerBot. Um, so make sure you. Uh, you subscribe to the channel and you, you turn the notifications on for more videos. Um, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in today. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to let me know down below. Um, I stream on Twitch uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I hope to see you there as well. Uh, other than that, much love and you guys take care.